Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I think one of the main reasons that people like get into the look of plants is because they see those big vining like hanging baskets of pothos or philodendron or whatever they are and they think that they're gonna get that right off the bat and that they can really just go out and buy those wherever. When really a big full established pot of that stuff is really hard to come by. But luckily those plants aren't very hard to grow and they propagate really easily. So you can easily just make your own big basket of philodendron, pothos, whatever, and have it kind of those sizes that you're looking at, you can have that in a couple of years even if you do give it the right treatment. This still isn't gonna happen quicker than like you would expect it to really. It's not something that you can get in just a couple months um, or it's just very unlikely that you could get that just because plants grow at their own pace and you can't really control how fast a plant grows. So it really is just the conditions that you give it and you know if it's thriving or not in those conditions as well as you know other external factors as well of course. But there are definitely ways that you can help the plant get fuller and thicker quicker and I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So the first example that I have is actually my golden pothos and this one I grew from just three leaves so it's not super full now and I've had it for I don't know just over a year maybe closer to two years I'm not certain to be honest so it's not as big as you'd expect it to be but just seeing that it's come from three leaves I think it's pretty good right now and it just like I wasn't the best plant parent when I first got it so it just wasn't in the best environment so it could have grown a lot quicker and gotten a lot fuller faster but this is just how it is now I guess. So this is my pothos now and as you can see it's got some really long vines well really long but they're longer than they used to be. Um, they've got some vines coming off the front here and they're actually growing a lot quicker now that it's summertime here and they're in almost like direct sunlight. Um, not quite though just because I don't like having my plants in direct sunlight but this is what used to be just a three leaf cutting um, and like I said this is the whole process is gonna take a lot longer than you expect if you're a first time plant parent. So this is the result of a couple propagations, not many, but I'm gonna tell you why this could have grown quicker and that would have been through propagations really. So I only recently propagated him back a bit to fill out the top of the pot here because if I show you a bit closer, the top of this pot still could do with some like more cuttings down in this area and that sort of stuff. But before it really didn't have like a lot of these leaves in here it was really just bare and there was just like these three main vines if you can see like here back here and then there's one in the front as well and that was all that was there um, on this plant so i had to propagate it to fill out the pot a bit because honestly a fuller pot of pothos or philodendron they like to be root bound a bit so when you add more cuttings in you're adding more roots into that system and it just i don't know for some reason it makes the plant a bit happier i don't know the exact science behind it but it does work so honestly, I only propagated him a couple months ago and he's now growing a lot quicker and is a lot happier because of it. And before he was probably one of my slowest growers, which is unusual for a pothos, but I had him in like a high light condition. I was watering him when he needed it and all that sort of stuff. And he still just wasn't growing very quickly. So I really think that propagating him sooner would have made him grow a lot faster, a lot quicker which is why I recommend that you propagate your trailing plants. And that also just encourages a thicker appearance. Otherwise you get some very leggy looking plants. And I don't have any examples in my house currently to show you because I've propagated all of them now that it's like full on summertime here. But I can try to find a picture online and post it right here of what they look like when they get really leggy. And you just want to cut those vines back because first of all, you get propagations from that. So you can get more plants from that. And second of all, it just encourages it to be a bit more thick and a bit more full. Of course, if you like the leggy look, by all means, let that grow out. It doesn't hurt anybody. Another thing you need to take into consideration though, and this is something I haven't done with this plant, is if you want a full pot all around and not just something that's sitting in a bookshelf and trailing off one end, because like, as you can see, he's full on this side. And then, I mean, on this side, he's completely bare. So you need to rotate your plants because if you don't, then you're gonna have it just trailing big on this side and then nothing on the back side here. Like this isn't a bookshelf, so this is the only side that gets light. Of course that was intentional, but if you don't want it to be like that and you want it to be all around very thick and trailing on all sides, then you need to rotate your plants or have him hanging in a spot where he gets sun on all sides or light on all sides. I'll show you an example of one of the plants that I kind of been doing this for. I've been rotating them every now and then, but let me grab them. So this is my trailing Hartley philodendron or my hanging one that I have. Um, it's just my plain green one. I have another one up on a shelf over there and that one is completely full on one side and the other side is bare so that wouldn't work for this example but this one I have hanging on my little clothing rack back here and he sits right in front of a um I think it's a western facing window so he gets quite a lot of light during the day because that window stays open basically all day 
most days anyways, sometimes it gets closed during the day by my husband. But um, as you can see, he's super full on this side, pretty full on this side, decently full on that side, and also very full on that side. So you can see he's full on all sides, and that's because every time I take him down to water, I just rotate him back when I put him back up on his little hook that he has over there. So that's the reason he stays full on this side, and he was actually getting quite leggy um, a couple weeks back. I only recently propagated him, but as you can see, like on this side, his leaves are getting smaller than they are like, you know, up here and everything. Um, and that's because it's probably a bit root bound in its pot. I don't feel like repotting it right now though, so I'm just gonna let it keep growing that way. And it might not even be because it's root bound. It might be because it's just in a new spot and it's not growing in as good conditions as it used to, so the leaves are smaller. Um, just so you know, small leaves doesn't mean you need to repot it every single time you see that. But um, yeah, if you want a look like that, that's just more full and just kind of going a bit crazier like this one is, then you need to rotate them and make sure that it gets sun on all sides. And I'm gonna go stick this in water real quick because he really needs it. Be right back. And speaking of water, you actually do need to water your plants quite often in order to get faster growth, at least during the summer. A lot of us are scared of overwatering, which I totally get because that's a valid concern and everything. But the problem is we tend to forget to water, so we end up underwatering. And even though the plants bounce back a bit easier, in my opinion, than underwatering from overwatering, it's not very good for the plant in terms of how fast it can grow. Because in order to grow really fast, the plant kind of needs ideal conditions, which is enough light and then enough water. So if you're underwatering and kind of giving it more time in between waterings where the plant is dry for longer, even though it could have done with the watering, like, you know, two, three days before or two, three days earlier, you're not letting the plant get the energy it needs from the water or, you know, if that's considered energy or whatever, because I know people have come at me sometimes for calling it energy when it's not energy, but whatever. Um, when you don't water on time, you're depriving that plant a bit longer of things that it needs in order to grow. So although you don't want to overwater by any means, you definitely maybe want to be a bit more on top of it if you're actively trying to make a plant grow quicker and fuller. And circling back around to propagating real quick, propagating is not only good for getting rid of the leggy vines that start growing once your plant does start growing a bit quicker, but it also is good for just sticking them back into the pot. And I know I mentioned this briefly earlier, but I feel like I didn't emphasize it enough. Like this is how people get big full pots if they're just growing them on their own. Because if you have a plant and there's only like three shoots out of there, you can't just keep cutting it back and think it's gonna get fuller because you only have the three shoots in there. So you need to propagate and put those back into the pot. So then you have more like growth points coming out. So then you have more active growth and then it's going to like exponentially get bigger and longer and fuller. And that's really it. There's no like secret that you can do to make it grow faster or quicker or whatever. Like you do need to be patient with it and just kind of take your time. Um, also just do the basic plant care stuff like dust the leaves, make sure you take care of pests when they show up and all that sort of stuff. But other than that, just make sure you don't underwater. Make sure you're rotating the plant so it gets an even coverage, or if not, just keep it in a good lit spot if you're just going for that like bookshelf trail. Um, and then propagate the vines when they're getting too leggy and then move those propagations back into the soil so you have more plant to grow. But that's it, with summer here, I hope that these plants grow so incredibly quickly for you guys. And just make sure they're not getting too much sun because that can burn their leaves on any plant really, um, other than succulents and cactus, of course. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that they grow well for you guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a lot. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.